All right, to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna include the entire recording from last time for this because uh, just in case this is the beginning of the episode on YouTube, I just want everyone to know that I have redone this one cup so many times. I played and failed for about seven hours before finally giving up. So I've actually used one, two, three, four, all right, I use four different teams because I know I it just made this team, but I'm gonna go in with this one because it's the one that the Speed World record holder uh, Worcester has. I'm just gonna go in with his freaking guide and hope for the best. I mean, some of the stuff I already was doing without any kind of assistance, but his is so specific Pokemon that I figured, you know what, let's go for it. This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming Pokemon. Now let's go ahead and just uh, speed right through this fight because it's going to be straight up ice beams to victory. Should actually get a continue out of it. But let's see, um, let's see, Shay uh, just cheered saying ready for the salt, yep, absolutely. That, that's what's going to happen. Because, yeah, even if I'm specific, even if I bring specific Pokemon, the opponent might bring different Pokemon than what was used in the world record attempt. There was one attempt, which was battle number five, I believe, against the hiker. I think this was the one where he has three aces. A Gengar, Eradicate, and an Executor. He will randomly bring one of those aces and then two of the other ones, which is like Mr. Mime, Golduck, and something else. Um, but there was one battle where he didn't even bring an ace. He brought his three level 15 Pokemon. And I still lost because I think I got frozen or something. I don't even remember, to be honest. Something happened where I should have won, and I lost at the last second. I know there was probably some hacks involved in terms of, like, critical hits and stuff like that. Because round one, not bad at all. Extremely easy. You just spam Ice Beam with Lapras and you win. But eventually, it's just going to get stupid, and it is the Hiker Battle. It all starts with the Hiker Battle, which is battle number five. One through four... We're going to hope that we get continues. And I'm... Even if it's guaranteed that I'm going to win regardless, I will go out of my way to switch Pokemon to make sure that no one faints so I can save a continue. But if I'm afraid that somebody's going to faint one way or another, then, yeah, we're just going to go in and we're going to take a hit and the next one's going to come in and finish off the job. See, that's what we need right there. Extra continues. See how, you see how easy that fight was? The rest ain't that easy. Not even the Cascade one's that easy. I mean, it is, but it, it's already twice as hard as the previous one. So here we actually want Starmie, Raichu, and Chansey. Nope. Starmie, Raichu, Chansey. There we go. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Because here we want a little more special attack. So we can just start hitting everything. Now, if Pinter comes in, I kind of just have to deal. But I'm going to keep spamming Bubble Beam and hopefully get a crit. Here's the first move. Because without a crit, this is a three-hit KO. But Pinter can't actually do... Too much to me. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Oh, but have I been wrong before? Absolutely. What's that? So, if he does not get a crit again, then hopefully it only does 15 damage. And it kills me instead. So not only did he get a crit before, he just got a high roll. So, there's nothing I can do about that. There's just nothing I can do about that. 
it, it's all luck. So already I can't get a continue, so I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to win. On the bright side, half of his team is weak to electric. Yeah, if you get crit, it could be the end of the world. There are fights later on when Thunder Wave becomes a thing. Um, wow. See? This would be a great time to have uh, Pokemon are entirely Starmie, but I guess not. The trainer changing Pokemon. Not about to take a Bone Club or an Earthquake to the face. Oh, it's a chance he handle that. There it goes. Major death. And of course. Will this Pokemon and I'm pretty sure Cubone outspeeds. No, I actually doesn't. Wow. What will it do? Perfect day. Yeah, all right. Well, at least uh, it did enough. And look, another useless crit this time. The salt is gonna be so real. There's nothing left in reserve. Well, here I get to use Seismic Toss, it's knock out the Q-Bone, and then whatever the comes in, I hope it's like Pidgeotto or Wartortle, so I could just use Seven. Thunder, and if I use one Thunder, That's either one should just hit. die as long as I make contact. That's all I need is for Thunder to actually hit. We're down to one but that's the problem with Pika five. Cup. Like, you either have strong and accurate moves or weak, completely accurate moves. Like. You really don't get too many flamethrowers or surfs out of uh, all your options. As a matter of fact, for fire types, you either have Ember on a fully evolved fire type or Fire Blast on a not fully evolved fire type. Your options are limited for Pikachu. And look at this, see what I mean? If I hadn't gotten crit by Strength on Pinsir on turn one, Starmie probably would have swept the entire team. Cause you saw how much damage that did to Cubone with a bubble beam from Chansey. Imagine a little higher special and stab. Like bubble beam definitely would have killed, and I'm pretty sure Thunder kills uh War Turtle, or at least comes close enough to just hit with bubble beam after the fact. But anyway, we're gonna go in with Raichu, Chansey, Starmie. I probably should have gone Starmie Raichu because if War, if uh, Slowbro's first, I'm screwed. And there it is. Well, I'm just gonna hope for the best now. And I miss. Because this Slowbro has freaking Earthquake. Earthquake. And that one shot's Raichu, like, right away. Somehow I lived. All right. So, yeah, it's either a low roll where I end up with 3 HP left, or he knocks me out every single time. So, right now, had that first time actually hit, he'd be dead. Savage attack. Which sucks. What will the next so now we're gonna go Chansey. I'm not risking that uh, oh, Thunderbolt. It I'm sorry, that Thunder right now, and I'm not sure if Bubble Beam actually kills. So we're gonna go to Chansey, Thunderbolt, guaranteed kill. And I'll at least be able to do some damage to whatever comes in. Hopefully it's like Dugong and he uses Body Slam. Because if something comes in and uses a normal move, then I just counter and win right away. That's how good Chansey is. Which Pokemon is coming out? Like, Chansey can one-shot almost any Pokemon in the game. So long as they're not, like, stat boosted or anything. So, Dugong should do Body Slam. Or Horn Drill! I've never seen it used horn drill before. Awesome counter. 
Um, excuse you. Use body slam. He's still going for orange drill. Is he gonna? I don't know if he's gonna keep psyching me out. I'm just giving him chances to use horn drill. You know what? I, I I can't risk that. Yep, he's still going for it. Good thing it's still missing. Jeez. Oh, that crit mattered. All right. What you gonna do? Horn drill again? Please miss. Whoa! I had a strange oh, feeling that that was gonna be the one where I died. Alrighty, we're good. Only one Pokemon left in now, reverse. hopefully, whoever's last. Oh, it's Cedra. What are you gonna do, though? The remaining Pokemon surf? Probably surf. One. The tenth battle continues. Yep. All right, so we should be good. But yeah, one hit KOs, I think, had a base accuracy of 30, but were more accurate the higher level you were. No, not the higher level. The faster you were over the opponent. Unless it was strictly determined by uh, speed. All I know is that... Uh, you can't one hit KO something that was a higher level than you. That's the only thing I'm sure about. Alright, well, unfortunately, we wasted uh, Raichu. So we don't get to continue here, but otherwise, the battle's pretty easy. First time I did this fight though, that slow bro freaking swept me. And I had to start all over. Alright, Burglar, I really need to continue, so I need this to play out perfectly. We need Starmie, Lapras, and Chansey. And typically what happens here is this Onyx just stays here and takes an L. Boom. So this essentially starts as the uh, 3v2. I have not once fought this guy without Onyx as the lead. There was one time where Onyx switched out, but I also don't think I started with uh, Starmie. So, all right. Should be fine. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. I mean, I kind of wish I had Psychic or Surf, but. What will it do? No, All right. That's wrong. definitely a two-hit KO. I should be able to eat one of those. Yeah, there we go. It's a head-on collision. Power versus power. And goodbye, Nido King. And uh, that crit would have really come in handy last turn, so I would be at full health for this last fight. But it's fine. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Alright, Drowsy is a weird one. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one side. Drowsy, I believe, can't do enough damage to me behind a substitute. It might though. I'm. I'm. I could be wrong. All right. Good. Fireworks are flying in this battle. So I get to bubble beam. I was kind of hoping that he would be dumb and go for hypnosis, but it's fine. But unfortunately, I can't just finish this Thunder off with Starmie, so I'm going to switch to Lapras, hit with an Ice Beam, and hopefully this just ends soon enough. I think all he's really got is Psychic, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. I, he has to have a fourth move, but I don't know what it is. 
All right, good. No special drop. That's another reason I liked having a uh, Starmie because uh, substitute made it so uh, I didn't have to worry about the special drop. But I was already low health as it is, so it didn't even matter at that point. I just wanted to survive one extra hit. And here it goes. Please miss. There it is. Thank you. Okay. That was just going to be annoying because Drowsy was going to use Dream Eater while I'm switching. I use Thunderbolt with Chansey and I win. That would have just been more of a waste of time, but regardless, I was going to get a uh, perfect win here. So, so far, this looks easy, right? But everything turns around in one battle. Battle number five against the stupid hiker who has freaking Gengar, Executor, Raticate, Mr. Mime, uh, Gold Duck, and some of the sixth one. But the fact that I remember five of his teammates shows how long I was on this fight. Lickitung, of course. That Lickitung has freaking Swords Dance, Body Slam, uh, Thunderbolt, and uh, something else. Uh. Let's see here. So we're going to go with Executor for the first time. Chansey and Gengar. Hope for the best. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. All right. His Executor. Which shouldn't be able to do too much damage to me, to be honest. So we're going to hit it with Toxic. Hopefully. Big rip attack. A savage hit! Yee. Oh, toxic! It opted to slowly damage the opponent. Alright, let's see here. In this battle. I think he's gonna just go for Egg Bomb again, so I should switch to Gengar. And he'll just the take damage. Oh, it's I'm sorry guys, I'm just so focused right now. I'm trying so hard to finish this. I did this for seven hours last night. I don't want to do it again. Um See here, I think I should go for Confuse Ray and just hope. You know he's going for Psychic. If he lands a Psychic, Gengar's dead. Yep, Gengar's dead. Casually tossed aside. Cast aside. I'm sorry. He doesn't like the word toss. Um. So... Yeah, I just have to go Chansey and uh, counter the Egg Bomb. That's all I can do. Oh, I have no other option. Get ready for a battle between two Pokemon of different levels. Which really sucks. I needed that confusion. It shook off its confusion. And it's not even confused. Okay, it's still using Egg Bomb. For a second, I thought it was using Psychic. And I'm dead because of crit. Wow. Oh. So he busted through confusion, didn't take any confusion There's damage at all, and crit me with Egg Bomb when I was supposed to counter and win. This is what we're talking about. This There's game, this battle, complete luck. This whole fight is nothing but luck. You have to hope for the best. Egg bite Oops, that's a miss. So he's taking no toxic damage all these turns because that's not how it works in Gen 1. Look how little that did. Neither one is conceding an inch. So I have to hope that Psywave does something. You can miss again. Or not. I just want to see what the rest of his team was. What now? Yeah, 
Fireworks are flying in this battle. So yeah, burn damage, uh, poison Outside. damage, all that. Nothing takes effect until after you attack. And if you if you knock out a Pokemon that turn, you don't take any damage. You don't even take recoil damage. And look, the freaking Mr. Mime and Lickitung. The Lickitung, I actually need Chansey for to use counter on, otherwise I'm pretty screwed. I only have two continues for round five right now. There was one time where I was able to uh, get continues on the first four fights, but I still lost them all here. Yeah, Executor Chancey Gengar. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. All right, great. That's amazing. This should be a two-hit KO. Changing Pokemon. Or I should have used Toxic. Must not have been the right choice. Oh, it's Executor. Ooh, this one looks formidable. Yeah, I should have used uh, Toxic. It didn't do much damage. Are they testing each other's strength? So we're gonna hope for something right now. Please miss. There it goes. Start off with a miss. Nope. Oh, and that's a two-hit KO this time. That high roll. Oh, toxic. The move Dude! I'm done. Nope, I quit. Already. I'm just giving up. Continue. There's just no way. There's just no way. Like, you can't turn a three-hit KO into a two-hit KO and freaking uh, have me miss my Toxic. That, that's too much. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. All right. I guess we go on Toxic on uh, Lickitung. Don't really have much other option right now. All right. The move failed to click. It is with the tap power. They're both being caught. I needed that. I really needed that. Well, Miss Mumetta just subscribed and joined the Blafia. Welcome to the fam. Enjoy your emotes. Get some sub hype in the chat from Miss Mew. Also get some uh, hype in the chat for uh, Miss Body Slam. Let's uh, confuse Ray. You switching? Good. Good. Executor. All right. Okay. So I have a chance. See, I'm pretty sure I used Metronome and got Flamethrower before on this Executor and it did like nothing. So I'm just gonna go for Nightshade and hope. What'll it do? Try to get some confusion damage. There we go. Whoa, Fireworks are that was kind of big. Now let's go, uh, Chansey. If I don't get crit with that friggin' egg bomb. Because Gengar can... Basically handle Lickitung because its only way of attacking otherwise is Thunderbolt. So, uh... If it only has Thunderbolt, it's not going to do too much damage to uh, Gengar because of the special. That hurt. That hurt. How will this swap affect the outcome? He kills me with an egg bomb for sure now. Oh, 
They're staring each other down. Yeah, he kills me with an egg bomb, so. Oh. All right. Is either he uses egg bomb or he goes for psychic for some reason. And there I was going for a possible speed drop. Try attack isn't going to do much of anything because my attack is abysmal. And that hurt because of Chansey's special being lowered. So I couldn't survive a second hit anyway. All right, so now you gotta do something else stupid. As long as it works. It's two Pokemon against three now. We need this to land a toxic. Up in the air. We need to land a toxic. Dude, why is it doing so much damage now when before it wasn't? What's this? There we go. Okay. So now, as much as this sucks, we have to switch out to Gengar, have uh, Egg Bomb do nothing, then we've got to switch back to Executor to eat a Psychic, and then back to Gengar to eat an Egg Bomb, and let Poison do all the damage. How will the Swap Pokemon fight? Unless Gengar uh, goes in whenever it's only got 15 or less HP. What will it do? I mean, I hope this works. Alright. I don't Pokemon think that's going to do 12 damage. Is it? I, I wasn't paying attention. I should have paid attention to how much health he had before. Like, if it started off as, like, 3, then 6, then 12, then we should be fine. Like, if that's exactly 15 HP afterwards, then I got lucky. WHY?! Oh my god! He knew that Psychic was gonna kill anyone. I'd start over now. I'd start over now. Man, the Psychic was going to kill anyway, so he just went for it. One hundred percent luck. And now we re-enter from the beginning. Yay! Alrighty. We're trying again. Executor, Chansey Gengar. Really the best shot that we've got. Except for Raichu using Thunder Wave on Gengar. If that's the thing, but... I think this is all we really got. We just have to hope that Gengar doesn't come in. There we go. And now we go for Toxic. You stayed in and used Ice Beam? Well, that's a first. I was positive that a switch was coming. Fireworks are flying in this battle. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Wait, huh? Oh, it's Radicate. Uh oh. Ooh, oh. This one looks formidable. Yeah, formidable. I don't Will believe you can hurt Gengar. I hope I'm right. The 
Uh, I really hope I'm right. Please tell me this thing has nothing but normal type attacks. Hyper Beam, and it misses. So... We, uh... It's not even three hit KO with Nightshade. Confuse Ray. It can't make a move. Flash up confuse Ray. We need confusion damage. Confuse. Neither one is even one. Enemy. One turn of confusion would help. There we go. What's this? See, I love how Gengar just smiles in the face of a hyper beam. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. I love Gengar. He's one of my favorites. The intense battle continues. He always was. I just wish they didn't get rid of Levitate in uh, Gen 7. It's kind of annoying. All right, if he hurts himself one more time. <gasps> yes! Uh -oh, it's confused. The Hex Gods are smiling. I just hope they're not evilly grinning and I am not confusing the two. I just took down the ace. Almost untouched. Well, against the ace, I was untouched. I only took some damage against the gold duck. Why is he sending in Lickitung? All he could do was thunder wait, uh, Thunderbolt me. I might have just won, guys. I might have just won. Especially if he does get a swords dance off and hurts himself. Uh oh. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. What a furious battle. All right, Nightshade. What now? And if I get confused, I just swap. Four confusions in a row. This game's being way too nice. And if he busts through and actually confuses me with Supersonic, and I bust through the Supersonic, then I'm really good. Okay. Yep, I saw that happen. Okay. Now I gotta hope that I break through the confusion. Yes! All he's got is gold up. All he's got is gold up. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. There's nothing left in reserve. So now it's poison. Will it be okay? We go for Mega Drain. Remaining Pokemon count is straight for Mega Drain. The battle has no! Uh -oh, it's this thing's gonna dig. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. Well, at least it's gonna take uh, toxic damage. The Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Let's see if I can still get a continue out of this. What's that? It didn't do much damage. I should be able to survive an ice beam, I hit him with Mega Drain, and then let Toxic the do the outcome. rest. Ice beam. Whoa, like yep, there it is. Hurt by Toxic. Mega Drain him. That should do a lot of damage. That's good. I'll absolutely take that. Now, we switch to Chansey to eat the Ice Beam. And it dies to poison in probably two turns. Alright, come on. Don't freeze or anything. Alright. Eating that up. From 18 to 15... Okay, so does badly poison not exist for real? Is there a problem here? What am I missing?
Also, I knew he was going to dig, so I'm just going to let this poison damage go through. Yeah, it's only taking three damage per turn. I don't like that. All right, he switched out. Right, right. It's regular poison now because he switched out. big difference in HP. Which, I, did they change that later? I feel like they changed that. Oh, there's going to be a change of Pokemon. What'll it do? Yeah, I, I did completely forget that was a thing. My fault. Will this Pokemon swap I'm still going for this, uh, continue, yeah. Pokemon yeah, another Pokemon change. Yeah, I am uh, draining this thing's HP to death with poison. So this is a damage turn. It's gonna hurt when it goes underground, and it's gonna hurt when it comes back up. Which I believe Chansey survives a dig at this range. Sweet relief. What's this? Whoa! Whip that back. Fireworks are flying. And even if Chansey dies, I at least win the battle. I'm just going for a continue. A yep, I win. And I get the continue. And I went down. from losing this battle like five times in a row last night. To failing so much today, like, well, actually, this is only my second time even getting to the hiker. I failed again on the third battle. So now, I get a perfect on the hiker. That's a first for me. That's never happened to me before. Now, continue. If this is the dude with Electrode, yep, this is a 3v2 battle. This is just a 3v2 battle because you start with Chansey, you have Gengar in reserve, and you also have Starmie. This dude always starts with Electro. There's this other guy that usually always starts with Onyx. For some reason, he didn't use it. But this dude always starts with Electrode. At least for me, it uses Explosion. I don't know if it's guaranteed to use Explosion, like, on any Pokemon, but it would definitely one-hit KO Chansey, so it goes for it. It goes... Boom. Never mind. Also, I've never fought this Porygon before, and I'm pretty sure it has Psychic. Um... This is stupid. He switched. He normally goes boom. He normally just uses explosion. Even the chat's like, what? He switched? Every time we battled this dude last night, WTF boom. Yeah, and I knew this Porygon had to have a uh, sidekick. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Now, would you have like try attack or something, or are you just a pure special attacker? That's my question. We're gonna go for Thunderbolt for now. Yep. There it goes. And garbage. What do it do? Ooh, that crit mattered. But I'm gonna switch before I start taking too much damage. Go to Starmie. Unless this thing also has Thunderbolt, in which case I'll be in trouble. But I feel like this is a pure special attacker. Probably Psychic Ice Beam Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go for Substitute. Hey! That moment when you make the right play. And Bubble Beam. So now I have a free substitute up. He didn't Thunder Wave me. If he uses Psychic, it's not going to break the sub.
at least it shouldn't break the sub. Yep. Just took the hit. Didn't break. So it's gonna break this turn. Hopefully it just goes for another Thunder Wave. Oh, I hope it just goes for another Thunder Wave. So yeah, apparently he doesn't have Thunderbolt if it's just going for Psychic still. I have no idea what other moves this thing has. Well, clearly we know it's got Thunder Wave, but what other attacking moves? It's gotta have something. And this dude's probably gonna send out Electrode right away. Neither one is conceding an inch. Alright, so I killed his ace. That crit could have come in handy last turn, but it's fine. I got a full substitute up, and I have enough HP to make another substitute. So I should at least be able to do damage to whatever comes in. And there's the electrode. Hmm... Alright, we're gonna hope that uh, Alright. This? this is gonna this is gonna be risky. This is absolutely gonna be risky. The intense battle continues. Do I go for that though? I think I want to save Starmie. They're staring each other down. I think we're gonna go Chansey, expecting the explosion. I'm not the explosion, the Thunderbolt. Then switch to Gengar for the explosion, like we were supposed to. There it goes. I see the if it goes for explosion still we're hoping it does we're, we're just banking on RNG because at this health it might not do it it did it thank god okay see that's what was supposed to happen on the first turn and we switched to Gengar because it's a ghost type normal types have no effect well normal type moves there's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. And now for Muck, who I don't believe can really damage me. So we're going to confuse Ray, hope that it hurts itself. And then spam Nightshade afterwards. Wow. Muck using Fire Blast. You don't see that often. What'll it do? There, it's a hit. There you go. Ooh, that's nice damage. Can you do that one more time? If you do that one more time, I win next turn. What now? One time. Just one time. Nope. Well, I definitely survived the fire blasts. So, not only did I get to continue on the hiker, I think I'm getting a continue on the technician or whatever this guy's name is. And that miss did not matter. Or that one. Like, that's a four-hit KO. It only did 13 damage to me. So, yeah, no. It would have taken three hits to kill me. So those two missing didn't matter. Unless they had gotten, like, a burn or a crit, in which case, that's just other hacks in the opposite direction. So we're not even going to play that game. We're going into the semifinals, I think, with four continues or three? Three, okay. 
Three continues going to the semifinals. Okay. This all depends on which Pokemon he brings. Period. Raichu, Starmie, Chansey. Boom. Okay. I'm hoping for Rhydon. I'm actually hoping for Rhydon. Ooh, that's not Rhydon. Okay. But... Does he switch here? You know what? We're going to play it safe. Thunder Wave just in case he switches. Yep. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon so what is this going to be? Right Arcanine? Form. Yep, Arcanine. Oh, it's Arcanine. Ooh, this one looks formidable. So, unfortunately, Homeboy has Dragon Rage, which will do... 40 damage every hit and has perfect accuracy with no accuracy drops or evasion boosts. So... I absolutely have to uh, do chip damage. They're staring each other down. What's that? A decent hit! Like, I'd rather get guaranteed chip damage and then go into Starmie and use Bubble Bean. Ah! We're not aiming for continues There's here. We just need to HP. win. Alright, come on. One power hacks. Yes! That was huge right there. That alone might have just won me the entire battle. That one power hacks might have won this entire battle. Because a, a bubble beam from Starmie at a five level difference may not do 45 damage. But 30, absolutely. And Starmie. And as long as uh, Cloyster comes back out at some point, Thunder from Starmie wins. And I could have also gone for Substitute, hoping for uh, Power Hacks again, but... Excuse me? Okay. That should have killed number one. But that Power Hacks? Again? Save this battle. I, I thought that Bubble Beam would kill. It only did 26 damage. That's insane. This Arcanine's way too strong. Which Pokemon is coming out? Yep. Hopefully it stays out. A Thunder kills. One Thunder kills. Come on, land it. Neither Pokemon is backing down. Probably should have substituted, but it's fine. No, it's not fine. What's this? It didn't do much damage. What did that do? 13. Yeah, it's too much for a substitute. Okay. What's that? So, your last one could be... That didn't kill... Please be right on. Please be right on. Oh, it's fancy. Jinx. Oh, it's Jinx. Okay. One Pokemon aside now. Now. The battle do is you body slam me? The one. You psychic crap. There it goes. I went for counter. I went for counter. I should have looked at his move set or her move set, whatever. Oh, this sucks. 
and it just used Reflect of all things, which has no effect on me whatsoever. So we're just going to spam Thunderbolt. As long as I don't get my special lowered, then I win. All up to hacks. Or lack thereof, actually. What now? Good hit. The heated battle rages on. I should have just used Thunderbolt right away. Yep, I lost. Just like that. Just like that, I lost. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit. Neither one is conceding an inch. God. I should have stopped and looked it up or something. I was hoping that it was going to use Body Slam, but I guess it doesn't have it. There's no way it has it because it kept going for Psychic. Dude, that sucked. That's a waste to continue. All right. This is it, the semifinals. No, no one, one wants to lose, lose having come this far. Oh no. Um Guys, it's Gyarados, I'm screwed. I have to hope that thunder hits. Ah! A savage hit! Here it comes! Thunder! Yes! That crit mattered. At this level difference, believe it or not, I think that crit matters. This is a wild one from the word go. Oh my oh, god. It has to make up for lost ground. That was wonderful. How will the type that was the wonderful. Path? You know what? Thunder again. We don't need paralysis on you. Oh, well, hit. I would prefer paralysis on you now. Now, does Clefable have any physical attacks? What will the next Can I actually be? chance encounter with this? I'm looking this up. Clefable, uh, Pika, Cup, Move Set. I mean, I have chat saying yes and knows Body Slam, but I'm making absolutely sure. Round two, semifinals. What's the matter, trainer? What's the matter is I'm Googling. Hold up. Hold your horses. The trainer has it actually has it Body Slam, Psychic Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. Okay. So, Chansey, please use Body Slam because it's the same type of attack bonus. And because it'll do damage, please. Please don't use Thunder Wave. Please don't use Thunder Wave. Neither Pokemon is backing down. I said please don't use Thunder Wave. So now I gotta live Body Slam and get through Paralysis. What a furious battle! Why aren't you body slamming? Here 
Just do it. Just body slam. I looked it up. I know you have it. You're switching out. Oh! Well. Okay. There it is. Counter strike. Oh, the attack missed. Well, I know Will from previous Pokemon experience that Bubble Beam one shots right on as long as Chansey lives. Hit. And you didn't oh, live. It's down. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's dark. So now it's one Pokemon against two now. We the bubble beam. Okay, Pokemon we take that. We Pokemon. take that. But I think it goes for Thunderbolt now, huh? What's that? There, it's a hit. How will this swap affect the outcome? Unless it goes for Thunder Wave. Just go for Thunder Wave, please. Humor me. It created a substitute. Thank you. What now? The move failed to That's all I needed. But all I needed was one Thunder Wave attempt. So now it goes for Thunderbolt, it breaks my substitute, and I put it back up again. Or it uses Psychic. What is this thing doing? First it didn't body slam against Chansey, then it freaking used Psychic on Starmie with a substitute up? I just looked at this thing definitely has, it has Thunderbolt. Unless this thing is just wrong. But hey, Pokemon I win. I don't have a continue, but I win. There's nothing left in the I only lost Raichu, right? There's no, I lost Raichu Pokemon and Chansey. Yep, the and Bubble Beam easily wins. <sighs> See, if Chansey wasn't paralyzed, it would have one shot right on with Bubble Beam. I've done it before. We're going to the finals, boys and girls. Let's get some hype in the chat. I need some emotional support right now. I need someone rubbing in between my shoulder blades with their thumbs saying, you got this. You got this. Everyone believes in you. We love you. You got this. Two continues. So I have three attempts against the Fisher. And now we hope for uh, Dragonair. We hope for Dragonair. This is it, the final battle. Who will bask in the glory of the championship? Okay, we don't know anything from this. See, right now would be a good time to have uh, Gengar actually, but. We're going to substitute and hope for that uh, Mega Kick to miss, because I think it's going to be Mega Kick. It created a substitute. Urgh. Vigorous attack. The substitute disappeared. That's unfortunate. Fireworks are flying in this battle. All right, well, your special's not anything uh, glamorous, so. A decent hit. Well, it's glamorous enough, I guess. Does this go. kill? The bear hit. Does enough. Jeez. Furious battle. What's that? There's the speed fall I really needed. Because I wasn't sure if Lapras would outspeed. Earthquake. There, it's a hit. I know Raichu would, but I don't want to send in Raichu right now. What will the next Pokemon be? All right, and Lapras. Oh, Ice Beam should at least do that much damage. It Come on. Make up for lost 
This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. It's a more powerful move. Fight me. Let's go. Oh. Come on. He needs to send out Dragonair. If he's got Alakazam, I'm in trouble. Which Pokemon is coming out? Come on, Dragonair. <gasps> he sent a Dragonair. Oh my god. This one looks formidable. I don't think he can do anything to knock me out in one hit. Level He's got Dragon Rage, I think. No, don't you dare! What now? <gasps> he missed rap! Oh my god, I would have had to switch to Raichu and hope that I could get a Thunder Wave off, but I didn't have to. Well, hopefully I didn't have to. Come on, rap, miss again, miss again, miss again. Okay, you know what, that's fine. We switch out, nothing happens this turn. We just switch out and nothing happens this turn. Come on. Come on, Pika Cup. Give me this. I've earned it. I deserve it. This is the final battle. As soon as I beat the hiker, I made it here. Now, do I need Raichu for something, though? One Only if he sends in Starmie, which is probably going to outspeed me anyway. See, this is the problem. The fact that Raichu's already this weak. They're staring each other down. Well, now I have to hope that the last Pokemon is Kangaskhan instead of Starmie. Or Golem. What's the matter, trainer? All right, we're just gonna go for Seismic Toss. Do this easy damage. If uh, if he's paralyzed on the spot. <gasps> yes! Right, choose here for a scout. Thank you, Pyro, for the cheer. I take it literally. You got this, Blah. Believe in you. I believe in me too now. Just don't be star me. Be Kangaskhan or Golem. Kangaskhan or Golem. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. It's Kangaskhan. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. And the play here is Thunder Wave first. And now if Lapras comes in. It'll be able to withstand. What now? Okay. Raichu, you, you did everything you needed to and more. You my boy. We're down to one Pokemon. Alright, Lapras only touched by rap. Two days of Pika Cup, you deserve a win, John. Yes, Crash, I do. All righty. Ice beam to win. The only move he really has to do damage is Earthquake. And he's going to go for Stab Mega Punch. I eat that up. I eat Mega Punches for breakfast. Let's go. I win. And one more Ice Beam. Get it. I win. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just won this. I only used one continue, right? During this attempt. During this attempt, I only used one continue, right? Against the hiker? Oh my god. Oh, I need some hype in the chat. This is the worst cup in the game, by the way, guys. Whether you know the game well or not, 
you know you should know this is the hardest thing in the entire game in the other modes things are a little more balanced in terms of level in terms of moves in terms of stats like especially towards prime cup when everything's level 100 all you got to do is pick the right move sets kinda this is the hardest thing there are Pokemon that you cannot use otherwise that you have to fight like freaking um Dragonair for example not even legal I don't think Machamp is legal either those level disadvantages were stupid so there we go there's the tournament cup and next up is Pete uh, petite cup I need a small break oh I have like an adrenaline adrenaline rush right now I'm stutter I got hiccups <laughs> We're doing Petite Cup next, which is bad. Petite Cup is bad, but not as bad as Pika Cup. Let's hope I have some decent luck here.